All right, good morning all. We're back up here with Piper this morning. It's Tuesday. Yesterday she banged her leg up a little bit. And it's kind of gimpy. So we did a little groundwork with her and a little bit more playing with her ears and called it good. This morning, it's still a little bit wet, but there's no real swelling on it that I can see. She's still kind of dragging her toe a little bit, but we're going to try and get her saddled up here and see what happens with her. Still giving me an issue with her ears a little bit, but it's better than the first couple of times. For you guys uh, out there that are watching my dribble here on Facebook and on YouTube, I'd just like to put out a request that I talked to some folks about a new computer last year and they offered to help me and, and, uh, and I appreciate that and I'm going to be calling you back, Amy. but. And right now I'm looking for somebody that might know of a better program that I can install that I can take these videos off the camera and convert them convert them to something compatible with YouTube and compress them enough to where I can get them up on YouTube and still have a little better quality on the picture. And I've, uh, right now what I have to do with them is I take the raw, I have to export the raw footage on the computer into the Canon program that came with the video camera. And then I have to export them from there over to Windows uh, Windows Movie Files, and then convert them to an AVI file that's small enough to be able to upload because of my upload speeds and all the other stuff that I deal with out here in the country. So I tried. I tried the other day just. Using put up putting up the the Windows media file, which gives me a little better quality of picture. But <clears throat> for one 17 minute segment of video, it takes like 45 minutes to get it uploaded. If there's no other traffic on my on my connection, if there's more, then it's sometimes an hour or more to get 17 minutes up so I have to be able to get them down to a format and a small enough size to get them out there for you guys and I have to reduce the quality accordingly to do that so if anybody's got any ideas or any computer expertise in that field, drop me an email. 
don't put it in the comments section of the videos. Please put it in an email. And uh, let me know what you, what you what you think. Yesterday when I worked with Piper here, she was pretty mellow yesterday too. Part of that was because her leg was gimpy, I think. But we got a couple of good rounds of groundwork in without her spooling up and getting faster. And hopefully that'll carry over today. And the work we're gonna do today with her. Keep an eye on that leg. See how she carries herself with it. segments of her and did a, some editing on them and tried to put them together as a documentary on the sagas of a rescue sagas of a rescue horse and kind of started it out with the history of her that I know. And the things that she's been through, the trials and tribulations of us working up here this last couple of weeks and various issues and whatnot. But, uh, I don't know. Something in the back of my head that I might do. I know I've had some folks ask me if I can put all these segments on a video or on a desk. And uh, have a one complete disk of everything because they don't have enough capacity on their phones or enough minutes on their phones or whatever it is they're watching these videos on to be able to afford to watch them all and that they would be willing to do something uh, for me to, to do that. And I'm, I'm also, I'm considering that as well for you guys. But I still have to figure out a way to do it and not lose the, the film quality. Because even even doing it on a on a Windows file and copying them is going to take a bunch of time to get them burnt onto a disc. And with my other training videos, I had a computer buddy that was able to convert them all to ISO. ISO files so that I can copy them more efficiently and quicker. But even at that, one one cold starting video takes me about oh about an hour and a half to two hours to copy and put together so that I can mail it out on an order. So that's I don't have the big production company and everybody working for me 
to the company that I contracted to make all my videos. I make them all myself and get them out there for you guys. And that's why they're only $39.95 and not $600 like some of the other cult starting videos and video series that are out there. We're at what? 11 minutes? All right. Well, we'll put a little bit of the groundwork here on this end of this and see how she's going to move for me. Well, she's picking it up this morning. She was dragging her toe a little bit when I was watching her just walk around here, but that might kind of be lazy, too. But she is walking there, and I'm not seeing any particular issues with her hips or joints or anything like that. So see how she does on her offside this morning. Let's go ahead and cut it there and we'll start the next segment and see if we can get a ride.